Good on time, camera. All right, y'all. Okay, good morning. Many people believe that their pets should have the right to breed and produce offspring. Well, I was one of these people. This is Dolly, my dog story. This is Dolly. Back then she was about a month, or no, 14 months old. And my family was one of those people that, you know, didn't spare and her dogs. Then one day she got out and she got pregnant. She had Well, she had two, but her first one was still born, so he didn't make it. But then, as time passed, DJ got bigger, and he ended up larger than his mom. <laughs> Nobody wanted him because they didn't know what breed he was, because, well, she got loose one day, and we don't know who her father was, so, yeah. And because he was an awkward size, not that large, not big, and significantly bigger than his mother. Nobody wanted him. But we didn't want to give him to the shelter because well, we didn't know what's going to happen to him if he's going to be put to sleep or find a good home. So we kept them with us. And of course, we already had two dogs, Dolly and a larger dog, so this makes three. And the vet bill started piling up and the food bill and well, times are even harder. morning, I'm going to be speaking with you about spaying, the benefits of spaying neutering your pets, not only for the owners, but for the community as well. It helps reducing unwanted pregnancies, like for my case, for example. It made the veterinary bill care go up, such as like for birthing complications, cesarean sections, we were lucky that she didn't have any of that issues, such as, the, and caring for the newborn litters, like what we had to go through. We had to get him for his vaccinations, his deworming, the works for all three dogs. And of course, there's a new financial obligation, the food and the continual bill. And if we can find a new owner, he was either going to be sent to a vet or an animal shelter, but we need have to do that. And breeding, you know, it also stops unwanted behaviors if you stay and neuter your pet. Such as for males, it stops from, from urinating everywhere in the house and unwanted places in the backyard. And it, considerably lowers their aggression because it stops them from competing for dominance. And it stops them from trying to escape the house because this, happens, uh, this happened to us before. Our dog, he climbs our fence and he digs holes, so we have to tie him up. It's impossible to keep him there. And our females, for a dog, it stops their heat cycles because that can get really messy and blood trails around the house. And I wanted attention because all the males in the neighborhood would howl and bark nonstop trying to get in your yard. And they get in, well, accidents happen. And for both male and female, it stops their howling because, of course, they want to get attention in order to breathe. And it stops them from wanting to roam such as sniffing around and trying to mark their territory to get it, to advertise themselves. And of course, it reduces the number of strays and those in the animal shelter. By it, According to the Humane Society of the United States, more than three million cats and dogs are euthanized in shelters every year. So, the spay and neutering just one dog can reduce that even by a little bit. And it stops, and of course, the Humane Society is 
a non-profit organization, so people's tax money goes into them to care for the animals. If somebody spays or neuter their pets, the tax money could be used for, be used for something else rather than euthanizing a cat or dog or feeding strays that nobody wants. It prevents car accidents because when animals roam, they tend to roam out in the streets and especially if you're like in a busy area and people, oh, well, people will either try to go around it or hit the animal and if they get around the animal, they, there's a chance they could fall, they could be a victim of an accident. Either they get harmed or the animal gets harmed. So it helps reduce accidents. In conclusion, I hope, I hope you all learned that staying and eating your pets will benefit <coughs> the owner as well as the community by reducing financial obligations, stopping unwanted behavior, and keeping other pets and people safe from harm. If owners spay and neuter their pets, they can avoid experiencing these hardships and problems by and placing these their pets in such situations. Thank you, Mr. President.